Developments tonight, a step toward justice for the family of 15-year-old Kayla Rincon Miller, who was brutally killed. We're going to have this news conference today to give you an update on our investigation into the murder of 15-year-old Kayla Rincon Miller. So today we can tell you one suspect has been arrested. Cape Coral police arrested 16-year-old Thomas Stein, who they say was in the car that pulled up to Miller and her friends and tried to rob them that night. Hello again, everybody. I'm Chris Safadi. And I'm Nicole Gabe in for Lois Tomey tonight. Week News reporter Jolena Esperto joins us live now from that scene. Jolena, uh, why does the family believe that she was targeted? Her family doesn't know why she was targeted. They can't imagine why anyone would want to take their beloved, precious Kayla away. But they said one person being charged so far is a small start to coping with this unbearable tragedy. Three days after Kayla Rincon Miller was shot and killed during a robbery, the community is feeling the pain and the sorrow. But at the same time, Cape Police has made one arrest so far. 17-year-old Thomas Stein charged as a principal to a murder while engaged in robbery. Based on our evidence, we believe this was not a random act of violence. We've also identified the vehicle involved in this shooting, a silver Nissan Pathfinder, which was rented by the suspect's mother. But investigators say there were still three more people in that car. Um, anyone who would seek revenge on someone, you don't know her personally, whether you've seen her, she didn't know you. She told the police she didn't know them. Um, they were wearing ski masks. This was premeditated. It was a target attack. It was a hate crime. Kayla's cousin, Charmaine Lopez, says there's still a lot of work to be done until her cousin gets the justice she deserves. If you know whoever did this or anybody who's involved in it, don't be scared to tell anybody, the police, your family. You're not going to get in trouble. Just it's, it's not right for someone this, this young just to die with no justice. Hayden Arnold is a friend of Kayla's older sister, says they're like family to him, and he still can't believe Kayla is gone. She just made people laugh. Every time you come around, you would just see her laughing and smiling. She wasn't ever sad. She wasn't ever mean to nobody. She, just, she was just a very happy person. I just always thought about other people. Every time I went to the house to go talk to her sister, she was just there happy, smiling. There was nothing wrong with her. She you know, So many people have been visiting Kayla's memorial today in tears. We see a deputy visiting now. Now, if you have any information, call Crime Stoppers. Again, we know one person was arrested, but investigators say there are still others involved that are still out there. Once we have any more updates from Cape Police, we'll be sure to bring those to you. Live in Cape Coral, Jolena Esperto, Wink News. All right, Jolena, hearts just go out to everybody involved there. Thank you so much.